What are your feelings today, uh, almost 10 years, uh, 10 years after the way we were? Well, I haven't seen it in a while, but um, I think it, it, I don't know, it's had a, it's an odd film. I mean, it's a film that nobody thought was much good at the time that we made it. Uh, I mean, the studio didn't, and I, I didn't know. Uh, I didn't really either. And uh, then it's sort of, it's one of those films that's grown in stature with time in an odd way. I see it referred to often, and I see it referred to even as a, uh, even with the word classic in front of it, you know, or classic love story of the 70s or something is a phrase I see often. Um, the song has become a standard. Um, so I don't know what to say about it. I mean, I, I, I think it's got two great performances in it uh, by Bob and Barbara. I don't think my p work in it is particularly distinguished or good, but I think I was... Uh, the best thing about my work in that particular picture was my wanting to make it, I think. My uh, feeling that there was really a story there and that uh, I finally got a screenplay, again, with a lot of help from David Rayfield and, and and Alvin Sargent, who worked with Arthur Lawrence, is a very good piece of material. Uh, but I did get a screenplay, and I did talk Bob into doing it. He did not want to do it, and uh, I was able to get a movie, you know, put together. And it's not the best visual work I've ever done, or uh, or whatever. But I think it's a s very satisfying movie, and uh, certainly the audience is. Uh Loved it. Is that your most commercially successful film? Uh, financially, no. Well, close to. Uh, Electric Horseman is pretty close to it. Uh, but yes, in terms of, and I have strange friends who really love that film. I mean, friends who I think of as being real cinema buffs, and people that I would think would be tougher on film than that, who really like it. I mean, sort of cinema intelligentsia, if you will.